Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we'll be starting a new topic in Indian Accounting Standards that is Statement of Comprehensive Income or it is also called as Statement of Profit or Loss and Comprehensive Income. It may be asked for Section C and it's a very, very easy chapter and very important chapter for your examination. So whatever we prepare this statement of comprehensive income or statement of profit or loss, it is according to Schedule 3 of the Indian Companies Act of 2013. According to the Schedule 3, the format, whatever they have mentioned in the Indian Companies Act of 2013, based on that particular format, we will be solving this particular questions. So it is Indian Companies Act Prakara Schedule 3 really mention Madhutakanta format in Ritala Adri Prakara Nabu Solmati. Always while solving the statement of comprehensive income, first always you need to mention the name of the company. First always you have to mention the name of the company. Next you need to mention statement of profit or loss for the year ended, whatever the year ending date will be there. For example, 31st March 2023. That particular date has to be mentioned. First name of the company na mention Madbeko. Nadri Kalagade statement of profit or loss for the year ended. Example 31st March 2023. Iriti e mention Madbeko. Then you should have four columns. The first column will contain the serial number. Second column particulars. Third column will be note number. In few of the problems, we might have to solve the working note because under the same head two different items they would have given but we want the aggregate final answer so to get that we have to solve the working note and that reference number or the note number should be mentioned in this particular column and the final amount should be written here note number yaki anta heladre kelavu onnsathi working note na maadbekagutte Working note madaga, working note number nine mention madi, amount column mali, final amount, final answer in bandhate, adena bari beku. So always first we will be taking revenue from operations. Revenue from operations is basically your sales. In question they would have given it as sales. That will be our revenue from operations. Revenue from operations first bari tibi. Mostly revenue from operations is nothing but a sales only. Questionally sales and the quarter. For that you need to add other income. Any other income mentioned in the question. The other income has to be added. Total this plus this will give you the third serial number. That is total income. So revenue from operations plus other income will give you total income. So 1 plus 2. So if you add these two, either add the add madate, revenue from operations plus other income na add madate, total income number is Once we got the total income, next we have to solve the fourth component that is expenses. Now the expenses they have classified into seven different types of expenses. Expenses na yedu bagaya expenses na ye classify madidare. First one is cost of materials consumed. In the question, they will give it as cost of materials consumed only. Cost of materials consumed antane kurtare questionally. So cost of material consumed. Next will be purchase of stock in trade. Purchase of stock in trade is mostly your purchases. Purchase of stock in trade and usually purchases say agirate. Next will be changes in inventory of finished goods. Trade and work in progress. WIP is nothing but work in progress. Questionally, opening stock, but closing stock, opening stock minus closing stock, we will get change in inventory. So, opening stock minus closing stock will be our changes in inventory. Next will be your employee benefit expenses. Employee benefit expenses include salary. E, a PF, Provident Fund, Employee State Insurance, Wages, etc. So all the employee benefits, welfare expenses, everything will come under this employee benefit expenses. Next will be finance cost. So whatever the cost incurred for financing certain amount of funds, for example, interest on loan, all this, this debentures, interest on debentures, all these comes under finance cost. 
depreciation and amortization depreciation is for tangible assets amortization is for intangible assets so depreciation and amortization expenses also comes here the last head here is other expenses which doesn't fall under all the six heads will come in this other expenses now adding all these seven components ee ella yelanna add madidre namge total expenses sigutte when we add all these things we get total expenses now we want profit or loss profit or loss before exceptional items profit or loss before exceptional items and tax so in order to get this profit or loss before exception items or tax from the total income we have to subtract total expenses so i have written here 3 minus 4 from total income we have to subtract total expenses if income is more than expenses we will get profit if income is less than expenses we get loss total income mali total expenses na minus madidre profit sigutte yavaga andre total income jaasti ittu andre ಒಂದು ವೇಳೆ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇತ್ತು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಲಾಸ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಆ ಬರುವಂತ ಐಟಮ್ ನ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಅಥವಾ ಲಾಸ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನಲ್ ಐಟಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫೈ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನಲ್ ಐಟಮ್ಸ್ ನ ಮೈನಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಸಬ್ಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ದಿ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನಲ್ ಐಟಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಡ್ ದಿ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನಲ್ ಐಟಮ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಇನ್ಕಮ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಆರ್ ಲಾಸ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನಲ್ ಐಟಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಇತ್ತು ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ ಐಟಮ್ಸ್ ನ ಎಲಿಮಿನೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಇನ್ನು ಉಳಿದಿರೋದು ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಗೆಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಆಡ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ನ ಆಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ದ ಇನ್ಕಮ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ರೆಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆನ್ಸಸ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಗೆಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಆಪರೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಅದನ್ನ ಮೈನಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ನಮಗೆ profits from continuing operations sigutte so we have to minus profit before tax from tax expenses so whatever the amount we get it will be profit before continuing profit up from continuing operations profit before tax in the tax minus madidre profit or loss from continuing operations sigutte illi tanka it will be first stage one the part illige mugiyutte next will be profits from discontinued operations next namge profits from discontinued operations sigutte from that profit discontinued operations question alle directly kottirtare they would have given directly in the question itself profit from discontinued operations again from that we have to reduce the tax so we have to reduce the tax on discontinued operations then we will get profit or loss from discontinued operations so discontinued operations alli bandirtakkanta profit in the tax na reduce madidre profit from discontinued operations sigutte so here if you see the ninth point we have profit from continuing operations and 12th point we have profit or loss from discontinued operations okay now add those two profits from continuing operations and profit from discontinued operations we will get profit or loss for the period so for the complete period whether it is a profit or loss the clear picture we will get for that we have to add ninth point that is profit from continuing operations and 12th point profit from discontinued operations if add and add madidre we get profit or loss for that we need to add other comprehensive income in the question they would have given it as other comprehensive income that other comprehensive income should be added for this when we add this we will get total comprehensive income so bandirtakanta profit ke comprehensive income na add madidre we will get total comprehensive income aga namge total comprehensive income annodu sigutte now from that we will be finding out actual our pn uh, statement of profit or loss account ends here actually illige mugiyutte next we have to con- uh, continue by calculating eps eps refers to earning per share 
so we will find out the earning per share for continued operation separately earning per share for discontinued operation separately then we will add both of that we will add we will get eps from continued and discontinued operations this is a format to solve the statement of profit and loss account hope you have understood how to solve this uh, uh, like how to analyze the format so if you have understood from our next video we'll start solving the problem so we'll meet in the next video